five inches of snow in the mountains that surrounded us last night. Beautiful. In a little bit, I'm going to go through uh, some centering exercises. And uh, at that point, I'll turn the uh, video part off so you can just continue to listen to it. Uh, we've got ourselves enmeshed in a very strange situation. Huh? Brings up a lot of fear for us, a lot of uncertainty. And you get the sense that the experts don't really know what the hell they're talking about. But I think that the, uh, what they're suggesting is a good idea uh, as far as... But they're talking about symptoms, so it's good. Do what you're told to do, what you think is in your best interest. But what everybody's missing is how do you keep your immune system strong? It turns out that the fascial system has everything to do with the immune system because it has everything to do with your mind that rules and controls your immune system. I'm, uh, a lot of you are very advanced therapists, and I, I know a lot of you, so welcome. Uh, we've also encouraged patients and clients to join us, so we're really happy that you're here. Let's not, though, come under any category. Forget patient, physician, therapist, client, whatever. We're here together as human beings. And the power of my fascia release is it treats the being of the human being. Nothing could be more powerful in a totally safe way. And what is centering? Well, it's impossible to put into words. This is why as we go through this exercise, and you don't have to ever say to yourself you choose not to, I'll be asking yourself certain things to yourself mentally. But you don't have to say to yourself you choose not to. But none of this will injure you in any way. And I hope you'll find it very helpful. Before I do, though, I'd like to sort of give a quick capsule of my fascia release for those of you that are just sort of getting into this. As therapists that you've been doing this for a while, pretend like you never heard it before. You know my concept of mastery. My goal is to help us achieve mastery as a therapist or physician. But it also, my fascia release principles are life principles that helps you to be a master of your life. To be healthy and happy and joyful. We all got a very dysfunctional message in our society, whether we realize it or not, that we're here to suffer. And you all got pretty good at it. We're not here to suffer. We're here to life and help others to do the same. So those of you that are advanced therapists, as they go through some of these concepts, imagine that you've never heard this before, so you can feel it on a deeper level. And those of you that are just getting involved with myofascial release, as I say any of these concepts, allow yourself to feel it in your body. Allow pictures to come up, because that's the way our true communication is. I'm going to be talking in a little bit about consciousness and a very simple but very effective way of viewing consciousness. So I'll get back to that in just a few moments. In any event, uh, my fascia release, when we have restrictions, and I'm sure some of you therapists have told you this already, when we have my fascia restrictions, what just about everybody does, because nobody paid any attention to the fascial system, we're fighting ourselves. And over time, the struggle that we get involved in, we become exhausted. It begins to deplete our immune so that we pick up so many things that we didn't necessarily have to pick up, including the situation we're dealing with now. So as I said, follow the suggestions that you can relate to. But let's, what we're going to do today, and let's not apply it just to this extreme situation we're in right now. I want you to do it all the time. Do it regularly. It's going to enhance your life in so many ways. So let me go through some very basic things about the fascial system. And basically, the fascial system and goes deeply into every structure of our being, every cell of our being. The environment of every cell is the fascial system. It's called the ground substance and the extracellular matrix. The ground substance is the fluidity of our body. 
and uh, all of the research done on the fascist system was done on dead people. And as you know, dead people are brittle. Dead people don't have consciousness. So for some bizarre reason, that's what, as therapists and physicians, we were taught about dead people. You know, for common sense, we have a mind. But healthcare ignored our mind. It ignored consciousness because it was inconvenient for research. Pretty strange. So in ignoring the mind and ignoring the fascial system, so many times you've gone to some really good therapists doing traditional therapy, some really good physicians, temporary results. You keep getting different diagnoses and never seems to quite get better, stay better, or something else shows up. So my fascia release is a way of you getting to the cause and effect. Symptoms are effects. My fascia release deals with the cause and effect relationship of your body, the totality of who you are. And the wonderful thing is it's safe. One of the primary tenets of my fascia release is do no harm, never force. So it's gentle, sustained pressure. When you think about the other forms of therapy that you've had, your therapists were really well-intentioned. They were doing what they were taught. But unfortunately, uh, what we were taught was completely uh, wrong. Totally wrong. You cannot treat people as if they have no consciousness there. So that there's a special touch, there's an art to this. And that my fascial therapist has taken a lot of time a lot of effort to learn the art to help you out. <clears throat> so, let's uh, just remember now as I'm talking, just sort of feel things in your gut. So, so many of you went from doctor to doctor, therapist to therapist, you were told there's nothing wrong with you. Your testing that you all have gone through doesn't show the fascial system. Most physicians and therapists, and I mean a very high percentage, know nothing about it, were never trained about it. So we're in a situation now in healthcare that's a big problem. But this is the healthcare of the future. My fascia release is not traditional therapy. It's not alternative therapy. It's authentic therapy. It's the real thing. So we have to deal with the mind. It turns out that the fascia system, its ground substance, and the photons that flow within the ground substance that is consciousness. So that as we access that and it stops being trapped, some most amazing things begin to happen. So we were born centered, as I said the other day. Centered. But then I think most of us somewhere around the age of reason gave up. We're booking the tide. We're getting into too much trouble. So what happened? We started to conform. But your intuition that loves you so very much has been screaming at you, creating an internal chaos about you. So a lot of you have been through some pretty horrible situations. We've had some rough spots in our life, all of us. And we're going through one right now. So again, look at a tragedy. It's an Asian saying that a tragedy basically is an opportunity, a huge opportunity now. Let's take that opportunity and turn it into action. The keys to life is being centered. For the therapist to be a really good therapist, they must be centered. So when we go through this, we're going to go deeply into that today. And it's all about feel. Please remember the feel. And please repeat what we're doing over and over for a while. It's going to help you in a lot of ways. Let me first go back, though, to <clears throat> consciousness. All of healthcare is about order and control. And that would be fine if it worked. It's not working. I, I've called our intellectual side Channel 5. Now, the beauty of my fascia release and its extreme power to help you, it moves us safely, efficiently, and effectively into channel three. Channel three is our intuitive, instinctive side. 
That's the healing zone. It's not your intellect. You're not stupid. There's nothing wrong with you. What's wrong is the healthcare system we got trapped in. So that's what I call channel three. It's also your creative side. That neuroscientists have recently discovered the database available to us in channel three is an excess of 10 million to one of that of your intellect. In fact, it's far more than 10 million to one. It was so vast they gave up counting. Another word for all of that is what I call our feeling intelligence. And that's what we're gonna be delving into in just a little bit. Another word for all of that is wisdom. You have an amazing wisdom within you. But the problem is our educational system wasn't true education. It was mass hypnosis. Another word for um, the channel five intellectual side is called consensus consciousness in psychological parlance. Another word for that is trance. We were and have been in a trance. And healing is about awakening from that trance and that's what channel three will do for us. It's not that I don't greatly respect our intellect, but your intellect, channel five, is a tool. It's a servo mechanism. And we let the tool run the show. So what this does is flip-flop things, where you take control from channel three, because channel three makes decisions from love and compassion and great clarity. Channel 5 gets itself in trouble because we're going to ask you to do things it wasn't meant to do and keeps you in fear. Channel 5 is your fearful, negative, critical, judgmental side. What a hell of a way to live. Look what's happening to our society. So Channel 3 opens us up to this vast reservoir of information available to us. Universal wisdom. But you just don't snap your fingers or say, I'm going to do it from the intellectual side. It doesn't work that way. This is why receiving my fast release has tremendous benefits for you in reducing pain, headaches, all the symptomatic diagnostic labels you've been given. It restores motion, it takes your, brings your power back. It brings back immense amount of mental clarity, emotional stability and you'll have access to your wisdom for the rest of your life. So discipline yourself enough to do this regularly. And those of you that are patients, and most of us as therapists have been injured too, don't regret it. We can't change the past. But again, look at it as an opportunity for you to grow now. It'll wake you up. That's what this is all about. Don't be afraid of waking up. You're going to be so much happier and more joyful. I run into... Uh, a lot of pretty well to do people. And they have all the toys, cars, houses, boats, jewelry. And as I'm treating them, and it's pouring out of them. There's an old song by Peggy Lee. That's it. That's all there was. You see, a life in Channel 5 is empty. There's nothing wrong with having toys, but if you're not gonna enjoy your life, what the hell's the purpose? So let's start to treat ourselves regularly, please. Find a myofascial therapist that's highly skilled in this, and get treated for a while. It's an investment in your life. It'll be worth it for you. And that goes for you therapists too. So just don't shake it and say yes, please do it. It's so important, so now, this horrible situation we're going through will have great value, as we, and we will get through it. We will get through it, and this will help you tremendously. So what I'm going to do is uh, just get yourself in a nice, comfortable position. You can be sitting or lying down. I'm going to shut off the video part for a bit now, and just sort of I'll let the audio keep going. And again, you don't have to say to yourself if you choose not to. But have a very open mind. And as I go through different statements and various concepts, again, allow your body to feel the words. Allow pictures to flow through you. 
Before we start, let's just close your eyes for a bit now, if you will, and start to quiet yourself. Set a goal for yourself. Now, goals aren't so much words. Our creative mind, the channel three part of you, which is vast, it communicates in pictures and feelings, so speak its language. And listen to it, it's always there to help you out. But there's so much self-talk going all the time in, in Channel 5, so much fear, so much performance anxiety. It's like static on a radio. You're not receiving the guidance that's available to you every moment. Enjoy, just know, enjoy your life. Trying to put words in being centered, is, it's, it is impossible, but let me just throw a few things at you. When you're centered, is an inner sense of calmness, tranquility. It's kind of a flow to life. And it's all about enjoying your life. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you feel guilty about that, then look at that concept. Remember a lot of these things we were taught, they're other people's thoughts. You can change these concepts that have limited your life. And remember, turn them into pictures and feelings. So let's get yourself nice and comfortable. I'll cut the video off. I'll just take a nice deep breath. <clears throat> As you breathe out, Without effort, allow yourself to soften. Now take another big breath and tighten, not so much as to agitate. Just tighten your body, feel it. As you breathe out, allow yourself to soften. Our solar plexus is in our upper, bell, upper belly. That tends to be very tight in people. Because without realizing it, in our society, we were told not to feel and not to trust your emotions. So we had to tighten our solar plexus and some very deep muscles in your belly called the psoas to accomplish that. And they've gotten really tight and they ended up giving you a lot of physical symptoms also. So let's take breathe in again, tighten your body, and now tighten your solar plexus like it's a tight fist in there. Really, really tight. As you breathe out, soften. Softer. Now as you breathe in again, tighten up everything we just did, including now your face. Scrunch it up tighter and as you breathe out soften and soften now as you're doing that let's keep slowing your breathing down while I say a few more things to you what many of you are noticing as you allow yourself to soften there's parts of your body that you can't soften you've lost control they're your protective responses. And they're not eliminated by traditional therapy because it ignored your mind. That's the beauty of myofascial release. It's what I call a straitjacket. So, tell your therapist, or if you're a therapist, wherever you can't let go, that's where you need to get treatment. So have your therapist do myofascial release in those areas. And therapist, again, please treat yourself. Let's breathe again, tighten up, tighten, tighten. Feel it. Now breathe out. And soften again. Now slow your breathing way down. Now, we're gonna use our creative mind, the healing zone, so to speak, or channel three. And we're gonna start with our feet, and wherever body part we happen to be at, I want you to visualize brilliant light, any color you choose, and feel it like a 
little breeze flowing through you. And don't care whether you feel it right now. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. No way. So put no effort into this game and kind of enjoy it. So say to yourself mentally now, my feet are warm, relaxed, and glowing. Say it again. My feet are warm, relaxed, and glowing. My that warm tingler breeze now to flow up your ankles, lower legs, knees, thighs. And say to yourself mentally, my feet, ankles, lower legs, knees and thighs are warm, relaxed, and glowing. See and feel it. Say to yourself, my breathing is slower and easier. <clears throat> Allow that brilliant light to move up into your pelvis. Flow up into your back. Into your back and chest. Feel yourself softening, warming. Beautiful, tingly energy flowing through you. Allow that energy to flow up your neck, into your face and head. Our faces are mask. It is the way we were taught to present ourselves to the public. And we thought it was real. How about if we drop the mask? It should take no effort for you to be who you are. And we always are reaching out for something way out there somewhere. The key to life is to accept you exactly as you are. Not the way society tells you should be or look or that. Accept yourself exactly as you are. No matter what happens to you, again, accept exactly what happened. But then make the best of it. It's mental jujitsu, and you can do that. Develop that habit. So drop the mask, and with that mask came a lot of inner tension a lot of performance anxiety. Big breath again, and just let everything soften as you breathe out, including your face. Softer and softer. See and feel every cell of your body just bristling with beautiful light. See, I have wonderful visualization abilities. They've been atrophied from lack of use, but like a muscle, they will develop as you use them. So I'm gonna develop my visualization abilities. I'm gonna come more from my heart. I From this point on my life, I'm going to rely on my instincts, my intuition. They will never let you down. It'll get better and better as time goes on for you. So imagine yourself now, just, you're a body of light. And see yourself going into your body, see a small version of yourself there's a bone in the very bottom of your back called your sacrum. Our balance point is there. It's what's called the second sacral segment. 
See yourself now sitting on the sacrum, on the front part of the sacrum. And just like a big swing, put your arms out and settle into it. And feel it kind of rocking back and forth, just like a swing, back and forth. Enjoying the ride. Letting go of all fear. Fear is important to protect us against trauma and danger. Channel five is fear. We're not meant to live in fear, so it's okay to let it go now. You'll be more protected that way. You'll see yourself going inside of your spine something in there called the dorsal tube. It's a fascial tube. It's the environment of something very important, your central nervous system and your brain. So see yourself sort of diving up in this fluid, this beautiful environment inside of you. And as you look up, there's a hole in the base of your skull. See your arms reaching up. Point yourself up there and into your head. You have no limitations. You can do anything you want. You can float around and clear out all the debris. Our goal is to be more mentally clear, to be emotionally strong, to be physically strong. No matter what's happened to you, you can do it. Now feel your whole body being pumped by this beautiful energy we call life. Feel the silhouette of your whole body now. Now go beyond your physical body. You see, we're a hologram. We're an electromagnetic field. Mm -hmm. That's another word for your mind. That is in every cell of your body, pumping the trillions upon trillions of cells in your body, in them life. And it's far beyond our physical body. This is the way we can all connect together. Special family is sort of like an extended family. Some people call it a tribe. But as we expand beyond ourselves now, there's a three-dimensional web in the universe also. Let's all connect with each other. We're here to help each other, to enjoy each other. Feel yourself going way, way out there. So wherever you are right now physically, see yourself kind of floating to the top of the room. Look down and see your physical body. Look at yourself. See, I'm gonna take better care of myself in the future now. Life can be easier. Nothing gets in your way. There are no limitations. Now go beyond the room to above the building you're in, wherever you are. Look down on that structure. Feel yourself expanding in all directions. You're going higher and higher. Look at the beautiful landscape around you. Appreciate Mother Earth. Go even higher. You're starting to see the curve of the earth. Even higher, far into the stars. Comets are flashing by. You're totally safe. 
Look at the vastness of our beautiful universe. Still feel connected to all those that you love. Allow your heart to start to open. We've all had our hearts broken. We've all lost we love very much. Or in a relationship where someone passed away. But then we got so busy with all our responsibilities. We buried things, shove them down. Give yourself permission now to feel what's in your heart. And say to those that you've lost how much you love them. How you miss them. And how you'll always be connected. Just feel your heart starting to open, getting stronger and warmer. And continue to open when I just say this about our vascular system. The vascular system has a profound influence on every system and cell of your body. Your heart is a fascial structure. Your vascular and lymphatic system is a fascial structure embedded in a larger fascial structure which is designed to glide and be free. So when you have fascial restrictions, it produces crushing pressure on various systems of your body that produces the symptoms we've been talking about. So when you have that kind of pressure on your circulatory system, your heart is forced to pump against that resistance. That's what we call high blood pressure. If that's allowed to go on for too long, we explode aneurysms, heart attacks, strokes. So this is important stuff. Take care of yourself. Start to treat yourself regularly. You're important. And it's our responsibility as therapists to take care of ourselves so we can take care of others better. It's our responsibility as therapists to be mentally clear, physically and emotionally strong and joyful. Mm -hmm. Teach your patients how to do that too. See yourself mentally while you're out there in the stars and bring it home to you. I give myself permission to enjoy my life. See, being centered is enjoying yourself, enjoying every moment. Let's get go of, let go of all the fear. Let's open our immune system so we're protected. And slowly, like an autumn leaf, feel yourself beginning to drift down closer to the earth. closer to where you are. So we have the survival mechanism. Keep breathing slow and open now. When things go bad, physically or emotionally, trauma, when it's overwhelming, when something hurts too much or is too scary, we have this wonderful survival mechanism. But nobody paid attention to it. And what happens is our feeling intelligence is somehow pulled out of our body. The purpose is to numb you out, to help you get through the ordeal, to save you. And that's been a problem with a lot of you that have not been able to get better. Heal you. No therapist can heal you. No doctor can heal you. 
But you and I are capable of healing ourselves. It is unbelievable. But that comes from channel three. So my fast release allows you to open up the system, take the pressure off the system so the body becomes capable of self-correction again. You can do it. Make your goal to come home. All of us, we need to come home to be fully present and fully alive. And love yourself. Say to yourself mentally right now, and I'm gonna do a little dialoguing with you. And again, you don't have to say to yourself, you choose not to. But feel these things to yourself. Say to yourself mentally, soften. Say, I survived. We know that intellectually, but it's never just intellectual. Every trauma has an emotional part, an energetic part, a structural part, a mental part, a spiritual part. It's all connected. Words only separate them. So say it again and hear it clearly. I survived. I'm going to be okay now. The key is to learn from our experiences. So be open to learn so you can let it go. Say, I let it go. Say to yourself mentally, I did the best I could. That's a hard one for some of us. We tend to hammer ourselves over our head for our mistakes. We all make mistakes, we're human. My mother was a very wise woman. She used to say, no matter how many times you fall, just brush yourself up, get up and move on. So stop hammering yourself over your head for mistakes. Just be open to learn from them. Acknowledge them. Do not deny them any longer. And as we learn from them, we grow. See, so just open your heart, put your hands over your heart and push in. Push. Feel the pressure in your heart. Feel the warmth. Thank your heart for everything it does for you. And say to yourself mentally now, no matter what happened to me, I love me. I love me just as I am. And I'm going to enjoy my life now and help others do the same. See, I give myself permission to bring all of my energy All of my awareness, all of my power. And remember, words are never enough. Remember our creative mind, the part that heals us. Channel three. Worlds are pictures and feelings. Please do this now and do it three times a day for the rest of your life. It only takes a few seconds. But you need to give your subconscious a vision. So first ask yourself about your life now. What do I want? When I say that to my patients, what do you want? Usually their eyes glaze over because they're waiting for some expert to tell them what would be best for them. Only you know what's best for you. This is why it's important to turn into your intuition right away, but ask yourself that repeatedly over the next couple of days, but with no pressure for an answer right away. What do I want? And then set a goal with a vision. 
Even if you set the wrong goal, it's better to have the wrong goal than no goal. Otherwise, you're aimless and wasting energy and time. Because you'll self-correct as time goes on. What do I want? In your mind's eye right now, see a picture of yourself smiling, radiant. happy, healthy. See, see yourself doing something you have a passion for. Even though you're hurting now, you don't have to wait to enjoy your life. In fact, enjoying your life will help you get there faster and get rid of the damn pain. You can do it. Say to yourself, and repeat this to yourself regularly. I give myself permission to enjoy my life and help others do the same. Let's all stay connected. Keep softening for a while. Give yourself at least another five minutes. I enjoy being with you. And I want you to know I love you.